As Bitcoin bears expecting a $10,000 Bitcoin now lay in a puddle of their own filth surrounded by late notices and debt collection letters. Bitcoin's first futures ETF went live today and Bitcoin is on the verge of massive price expansion. While this metric screams all time highs and beyond. I'm your host Barry Blowout and after months of downward consolidation and sideways accumulation, Bitcoin is prepared for its biggest back-breaking, bare-boning rumpathon of the decade. With the baby bearers' self-esteem now more desolate and deflated than their own crypto portfolios, all I can say is, maybe 10,000 wasn't actually supposed to be the price of Bitcoin, but instead, 10,000 is the number of times you will look into the mirror and be very deeply unhappy with the creature you see staring back at you. Hey, so if you guys are new to the channel, make sure to like, subscribe, tune in this good as notifications, these absolutely time-sensitive alerts, as well if you're interested in any bonuses, make sure to check out the pinned comment below or if you're interested in joining our stake pool without any further ado i think it's about time we pump on in there's a lot of important things that have been going on today and bitcoin in many countries has now exceeded or should i say in many currencies has now exceeded its all-time high however not yet in usd so all bears will die. Bitcoin metric prepares to flip green for the first time in six months. So this is very big. And I actually just want to mention first that the new futures ETF could trigger a rally above $150,000 according to Fundstrat here. So their previous year end Bitcoin target was at about exactly six digits right at 100K. And they've actually boosted that because of the possibility of a serious wave of inflows from investors. And now I know, obviously, I have to clarify this every single time I talk about this ETF. It's a futures ETF. So again, not incredibly big, but still rather big. The new ETF will enable vastly more individuals to allocate to cryptocurrency, mainly people that uh, would not be buying Bitcoin anyway. Okay, for people like you and me, it's way easier and smarter to be buying Bitcoin itself. However, for a lot of institutional investors, that simply is out of the question uh, because of their own ego, because they're just uncomfortable with the idea of buying Bitcoin, whatever it is. That being said, this futures ETF opens up the door to people that, to be honest, probably would not be buying Bitcoin anyway. So it's reaching a new uh, demographic, not to mention that this is free advertisement and you cannot discount that okay that's huge in itself we think demand will exceed the inflows for triple q and like i just said investors already have the option and they've had it for years of buying and holding bitcoin themselves but this new etf uh, can and i believe will bring more demand and they actually cite invesco's qqq etf which offered diversified uh, diversification among the top tech names at a time when investors already had the ability to invest in those stocks so a kind of similar situation they could already invest in these stocks however this ETF, Invesco QQQ, brought in uh, billions of dollars in just the first year, exactly about $36 billion. And so Fundstrat is predicting here the ProShares Bitcoin ETF will exceed that, uh, you know, all the way up to potentially $50 billion in the first year, and which would imply roughly $50 million additional demand for Bitcoin per day. And that combined with the current supply prices for Bitcoin, uh, their number there is about $170,000 per Bitcoin. And according to Bloomberg Intelligence, the SPDR Gold Shares Fund, GLD, boasts the quickest climb to a billion in assets under management, doing it in just three days. And that's just a quick reference uh, to see what these inflows can look like. Because if you look at what happened to gold after its ETF back in 2004, I think that will give you a really good idea of what I'm referring to. And their view is that the price of Bitcoin will continue to rise, okay? Like I've been saying, and a lot of other people have been saying this as well, the ETF was released today. That doesn't mean that Bitcoin will drop a lot or or climb a lot today. And it doesn't really matter what happens today. This is a more long-term thing. Today just happens to be the first day that it was launched. But the influence and outcome of this launch today it goes way further out than just a one or two day time horizon. So that's why it's so important there. So with that, the long-term and short-term holder realized price ratio is tipped to repeat its historic uh, historical bull signal. So, so to sum it up, the lower the short-term, long-term realized price ratio goes, the more bullish I will become, said its creator Dylan Declare here. And so you can see uh, this kind of metric here and you can see how low it is. And you can see, just looking at this chart, that every time it switched, uh, flipped to the upside, you can see how it impacted the price there as well. With the indicator trending down for several months, it's high time for a rebirth. 
And Bitcoin USD has always benefited from this, okay? Basically, when this reverses, Bitcoin's price has always benefited from that. Bitcoin rises when the marginal seller is exhausted, and this is why you see the cost basis of, again, a lot of that is stuff that it's wordy that nobody's gonna really care to listen to. Uh, basically, a big number goes up. And very, very big here, as currently we see Bitcoin doing well today. And again, this, as I said yesterday, I think this is going to play out over the next few weeks. I don't really care. I don't think it's very important what happens today. Of course, it would be uh, amazing to see Bitcoin just absolutely go bananas at any moment. That's obviously what, uh, what I want and a lot of people want, but uh, I want to dive into a few other things first. So obviously the S&P has seen a crazy resurgence over the last week. That's something to note because uh, historically, if that's doing well, Bitcoin doesn't tend to stray too far from that. And this you can see here, the new ticker symbol BITO, uh, just a couple of hours here trading. And uh, yeah, just very nice to see. Okay, obviously there's, well, like just a few hours here. So this needs uh, at least a couple of weeks, I would think to start getting pretty interesting. But this is the beginning, this is the day. And as I mentioned, uh, Bitcoin has already broken its all-time highs with some currency pairs, not with the USD pair at this very second. However, I am actually targeting, again, uh, right around $72,000 for the next big move up. So basically, I think we break this all-time high any any second now. I think breaking above 70 all the way up to 72, potentially even higher than that within a day, I think becomes likely. I think as soon as we break previous all-time highs, pretty much sit back and relax because price discovery kicks into mega mode and starts going up. And again, before we jump into Bitcoin's price, I just want to talk about Ethereum in, in an extremely, extremely long, uh, currently about 10 month ascending triangle, which again, I personally think that that five digit ETH is going to be a piece of cake uh, over the next couple of months. And uh, something I said yesterday about Bitcoin topping out before the end of the year, that doesn't mean that altcoins won't run into 2022. In fact, that's what I think would be more the case. And again, that's just my opinion either way. If Bitcoin would continue to run out past 2022, even better, okay? That's even more money in my pocketbook and yours as well. So again, I don't have any, uh, yeah, I don't have any reservations against that. I would absolutely love that as well. I just personally think that once we see mania really come in, uh, we got to be careful because I remember again, like I said, back in 2017, I remember watching it hit 10k. And then within literal days, it doubled to 20K. And then that was almost, you know, a week after that, the bull run was pretty much over. So we have to see how crazy this can get because the top one week, it could be the most euphoric, bullish environment you'd, you've ever witnessed. And then the next week, we could be in a bear market, okay? If you disagree with that, that's fine. But if you lived through the last couple of years, then you understand 100% what I'm saying. And again, that's why you have the ability to do whatever you want. If you see all of that happening, if you see Bitcoin go absolutely wild with sentiment, you see it go to 100, 150,000, and you think I'm gonna hold the 300,000, go right ahead, be my guest. All I'm saying is I'm going to be taking profit. And also we have to keep in mind we're all in different situations anyway. I hit my goal for crypto like, uh, like about a year ago, actually pretty much almost exactly a year ago, this time in 2020. So at this point, I'm almost making videos just to troll the bears that think 10K is coming, who are the same people that thought uh, a couple of years ago that $500 per Bitcoin was more likely than 50,000. So what levels that are good for taking profit for me are most likely different for you. Uh, so, so always keep that in mind. There's not one specific number that I can give that will be right for everyone, okay? Absolutely not. But as you can see here, Bitcoin has just continued to climb here and uh, I believe it will start defying gravity. We have literally no resistance. We pull out the VPVR, there's absolutely no resistance. There's almost no historical price trading where we're at right now. So at this very second, I mean, by the time this video gets uploaded, I personally expect uh, Bitcoin could be well above all time highs, still makes this data relevant. Point is prepare for 70K soon, whether it's today or whether it's a week from now. Uh, I just think it's, I mean, obviously increasingly likely. It's been respecting all of these short-term Fibonacci, Fettuccini levels. Again, we're, we're above this gigantic last final level of resistance that we needed to get through. Uh, this is where it gets fun because uh, we, we, we will not be looking at previous price uh, and previous resistance or support because there will be none, okay? That's the best part of this. And um, yeah, I, I think fully throughout the next week, I 100%, I believe that we will be smashing new all-time highs, if not today. I personally think it will be happening this week, if not today. And uh, with that being said, I think then also 70K will be hit extremely quickly. If you guys are new channel, make sure you like, subscribe, to turn ninjas, miss these absolute time sensitive alerts as well. If you're interested in bonuses, make sure to check out the pinned comment below. Hey, what's that you're for the Nice to meet you.